Hi, I'm Eric Johnson, and I'm here from the Center for Digital Strategies today talking with Kent Parker, the COO of Ariba. And uh, Kent's been here at Tuck today as part of our cloud series. Kent was speaking to my class today, and he uh, agreed uh, to uh, spend a little time with us here talking about cloud and what cloud means to Ariba. So I just want to start off uh, with, a, with a definition here, because I think cloud is an issue that is rapidly evolving, and I think Kent uh, has uh, really a great grip around what cloud really means. So Kent, tell me a little bit about how you guys think about cloud. When you, when you say cloud, what does that mean uh, to you in Ariba? Well, you know, I mean, the term can mean a lot of things. And, and many people think about um, some of the traditional notions when they hear the word cloud. Um, cloud infrastructure, uh, cloud oper operating platforms, uh, cloud applications, and, and cloud devices are, are all big parts of um, the definition of the ecosystem of capabilities, tools that exist that make up um, you know, the cloud arena. But when we're talking uh, within our own business of what we're doing uh, to transform uh, business commerce, for instance, uh, we think about this definition that I call the capital C cloud, the big C cloud, and that's cloud community. The, the community effect that takes place by virtue of infrastructure, platform, applications, and, and uh, tools and devices that allow a community of participants to come together and execute processes, business processes, social processes, um, other kind of entertainment processes, shopping processes, whatever the case might be, in a more effective, efficient, transformed way. Hmm. That's great. And, and when you start thinking about the, the needs of that community, uh, what, are, what are the elements that really are needed there to make that community go? Well, clearly you need, you need to have participants Right, you've got to have members that subscribe, that join, that agree to some notional sense of how they're going to behave and, 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 and participate. Um, and then you need them to actually interact and collaborate and participate together. It's not good enough just to have members. They have to have um, activity between them. And that activity needs primarily to be both important or, or very relevant to them, uh, and it needs to be valid. And, and, and something that they can count on in a, and have confidence in, in an ongoing and consistent way. You also need the ability for them to group and filter themselves appropriately, to, to, to uh, determine both how they'll participate in an active way, but also to understand that there may be passive participation going on that they can uh, take advantage of or at least subscribe to. Um, when you have participants that are actively engaging and interacting, collaborating together in a valid and effective way that's providing real value to them, and they can group and filter um, all of those activities in a way uh, that allows them to get at the most important aspects of whatever it is they're trying to do to drive even further efficiency. You've got the makings of a real cloud community. Well then, you know, so many companies want to do that, right? We see lots and lots of companies saying that they are thinking of leveraging social media and, and building communities and so forth. But when it really comes down to it, when you look in your own company or other companies, how do you know if it's working? There are a lot of ways that, you know, I think you could talk about as a, as a cloud community being effective and successful and adding lots of value. Um, I often try to describe it uh, with a framework that has four kind of core critical elements that you know, really point to is, is success being achieved. Um, the first notion is around disintermediation. It, it, are, does the community um, take out some layer, some intermediate layer, uh, some intermediate agent, some intermediate step that has a meaningful transformation of how that process is going to work? That, that's one. Um, uh, Co closely related to that is this notion of kind of drastic tack time reduction. Tack time being duration, cycle time, the amount of time it takes for this process uh, to execute and conclude. So if you can uh, uh, take and, and, and greatly shrink that, that cycle time, um, you know, that adds a lot of value uh, as well as, as the disintermediation step that you provided. Um, 
A, fourth, a third element, uh, closely related again, is around uh, what I call um, information refinement and visibility. The ability uh, throughout that process to have insight to knowledge, information that's, that's real-time and pertinent to the here and now that you can act upon in a meaningful way. But, but leading to the fourth notion, which is the ability to group and filter that. Uh, because, you know, we, we are quickly entering, I think, a, 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 an era where information overload is, is not only p potential, it's probably probable. So the ability to group and filter um, this new information, new insights, knowledge, real-time access to information in a way that allows you to have it uh, specifically relate to the process um, flow that you're trying to manage in real time is, is really important. So those four notions are all critical value elements um, that I think you know, point to a, what is probably going to be a very successful cloud community. You'll know that you've reached a state that uh, points to probable success of this community, primarily when three things happen. N number one, uh, the community experience is irresistible. Right? It's, it's, it's so easy, it's so relevant, and it's so, it's so important, it's so transformative, uh, that that value is almost irresistible, uh, either out of uh, a desire for advancement or a concern about being behind, you move to that community experience. Once you're part of that community, um, you know, you realize not being part of this community is, is a real problem. So not belonging to the community is problematic. And third, you realize that leaving the community is problematic. You know, building communities uh, and managing the aspects of the change um, and, and the process transformation and all of the infrastructural and technical um, baggage that comes with that, it, it, you know, it, it is, is a challenge. Um, but once you achieve that network effect, um, disassociating from those relationships becomes an even bigger problem. So once you have achieved that nirvana where it's irresistible, not belonging is problematic, and leaving is problematic, Right, you, you reach this point where the cloud community is a very sticky proposition. Well, Kent, that's a, a perfect, uh, perfect message for Tuckies, I think, in many ways. We hope uh, Tuck embodies many of those uh, same things also. And thanks so much for, uh, for joining us here today. Thank you for having me.